Our longtime broadcast partner, Judy Rankin, significantly reducing the number of events that she'll be calling the game of golf. Those of us who have been so lucky to travel the world with her have no, never known a better friend. It has been, it is, one extremely important, remarkable career. Is there one particular thing you can say helped you the most? If you've watched tournament golf over the last half century, you have seen or listened to Judy Rankin. We look at the women's game now and we see it as so many teenagers out there. She was one of the first of the teenagers. Early on, she won the National Pee Wee Championship enough times, they named the trophy after her. At age 14, she became the youngest player to win the Missouri Amateur Championship. And two years later, she appeared on the cover of Sports Illustrated. When Judy gets that determined look, she's tough to beat. At 17, she joined the LPGA Tour. I talked to her this morning and she said she truly cannot remember when she was not playing golf. The LPGA in the 1960s was her neighborhood and her fellow competitors were her family. Get in. Get in. Judy Rankin. She's really brought a lot of people to the game of golf. She's just got a talent that is different. Over the span of 11 years, she would capture 26 tour wins, while twice being named LPGA Player of the Year. The crowd salutes one of the greatest players ever in ladies professional golf. She would go on to captain two U.S. Solheim Cup teams to victory. Never a doubt. I have multi-levels of Judy memories. As a Solheim Cup captain, I played for her twice. And in today's world, uh, a mentor. As her playing career wound down, she was asked to join ABC Sports in 1984. I'm surrounded by talent. Judy was a constant and was so well received on tour uh, by the players and by the viewers. As it was the start of a television career that would include becoming the first female commentator in men's golf and lead to her most impactful legacy. I don't think there's any secret that golf is Tiger's great passion. And his Judy was must be. almost a generation ahead of some of the other women who are prominent as national sportscasters on men's events. Judy was doing that for, for 15 years before any of that happened. Well, you're not counting, but I am. You're six under on the par fives this week. Is that good enough? Judy well, isn't going to pull any punches. Like she's yeah. going to lay it out there on the table exactly how it is. If it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. And she's going to go ahead and say it. Well, I'm with the two players that have uh, put on a terrific show this evening for us. Tiger. There's just so many moments in her career, so many big events that she stood right in the middle of it and gave us the narrative to those key moments. The most interesting thing I've seen with Tom Watson on the practice tee is the wind is kind of an unusual angle. It's, uh... I hear her in the back of my head every day when I go on the air and things that she has suggested to me about how to become a better broadcaster. In 2010, Judy joined Golf Channel and over the next decade became the signature voice of the LPGA Tour. Yeah, these two players know each other very well. You go just a little bit farther down. The soft place. voice but on your TV. I love always listening to Judy, seeing her driving around on the golf cart around here. You know, not only was she such an iconic player, but an iconic voice in our tour. One of the most, if not the most respected person out here. She really is, uh, she's a pioneer. She's a legend. Over the course of a 38-year broadcasting career, with a front row seat to the most dazzling and epic performances in the game, she's remained an authentic, informative voice. Uh, quite an exciting back nine, certainly the last. All while being honest. A bit erratic. You missed greens early on, and then you won four holes in a row. Yet empathetic. Great pleasure to be here in the 10th fairway with Matt Kuchar. Matt, you've had some wonderful experiences. Reminding us this that year. athletes are human, and meeting big moments with just the right amount of commentary. My biggest blessing now in the game is that I've been allowed to stay close long enough to really, really love it. And everyone and everything along the way means the world to me. It is a career that has touched so many. 
Hey, Judy, uh, I just want to say congratulations and thank you for what you have done for the sport. In my early 20s, you were the Roman commentator and you were so great and so gracious to me. Judy, congratulations on a fantastic career. I feel so lucky to have got to know you. You have always made me feel so comfortable. You've always supported me. And you did as elegant a job as a player and as a broadcaster as anyone has ever done. <laughs> You've been such a great friend and mentor to me in my career. One of the most familiar profiles in all of women's professional golf is that of Judy Rankin. I've always looked up to her, and um, she's just a very special lady. Everybody that knows Judy Rankin loves Judy Rankin. You find me somebody that says something bad about Judy Rankin, I will kick them in the head. You broke a glass ceiling for so many people. You're the best human being I've ever met in my life. I will always count it as God's richest blessings that I've been allowed to call you a colleague and a friend. <laughs> Dude. I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> That's the greatest part of it. <laughs> She's just been a trailblazer for all of us, really showing us where we could go and what we can do. You've been a big part of me and and golf, just know that.